Okay, today we're going to be learning how to load a next-gen image gallery from one image. So I have a fresh install of WordPress and I'll show you what I have installed. I have thematic uh, the theme installed and I've created a sub-theme called gallery or a child theme called gallery. Uh, you can see here it's called my gallery theme. Zoom in a bit there. Gallery theme, I'll just change the name so I could differentiate. I've also installed the Next Gen Gallery plugin. Uh, go ahead and install that. That should be all you need. And I've also added two galleries. And each of those galleries has two images in the gallery. So first gallery has these two images, and the second gallery also has two images. There we go. And the final thing I've done is I've created two, I've created a page. So if I go to all pages, I've created a page called Gallery Test. And I've inserted my two next-gen galleries. Um, I'll do that again for you real quick. That's pretty straightforward. Over here on the left side, uh, we'll insert first gallery, return, insert, gallery two, second gallery, insert. Um, you can just see what it puts in there, ng gallery id equals one and two. I'm going to update. Let's view that page. And you can see we've got two galleries showing, but both galleries are showing all of the images in the gallery. And I want to just show this first image to load the gallery. That way, each block on my page will be a gallery itself. So what we're going to do is go to our child theme in TextMate. And let me show you how I have it set up. Um, Here's my, here's my child theme called Gallery. In Gallery, I'm going to create a new folder called ng gallery. And then within that, I'm going to create a new file called gallery-1.php. Zoom in, make sure you can see that, gallery-1.php. Inside themes, child theme gallery, subfolder ng gallery. And what this is going to do is this is going to create a PHP file that will read any ng gallery that has a template of one. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So let me zoom back out and we'll do create. All right, now this is a blank file. Nothing's in it. We're going to take the bulk of this or the header of this from the next gen gallery plugin. So let me twirl down here inside the view subfolder of the next gen gallery plugin there's a little file called gallery.php select that and then up at the top we're going to select this first bit of code right here copy it and then in gallery.1 we're going to paste now the rest of this I'm going to try not to bore you with so I'm just going to end up actually copying the code you can find all this code on my blog um, if I can copy it here, let's see. I'm actually just going to select all and paste in here, and I'll explain what this is. Okay, let me zoom in a bit here. So this first bit in red is taken from uh, just the standard plugins gallery page. Um, the if statement, making sure there actually is a gallery. This iterator here, i equals one, is going to go through and increment at the end of each for each loop so that we get every gallery. I've got a holder for each gallery. You can also enhance this by adding, adding the gallery ID so you could uh, you know, customize the positioning of each gallery, something like that. Um, my for each loop is going to bring in all of the um, galleries, all of the images in each gallery, sorry. And then what this if, there's another if statement here that says if the image you're pulling from the gallery has an ID of less than two, which essentially means if it's the first image in the gallery, then what we're going to do is display it here. We're going to link it to the gallery itself. Um, you can see the href tag goes to the image URL, which is the gallery URL. Um, and then the image source is just going to be the thumbnail URL. If it's not less than two, in other words, if the image that it pulls in this for each loop is not the first image, then we'll pull the link, that's fine, but we're not going to actually pull the thumbnail so there's no load time. There's nothing, uh, you know, that is going to draw uh, take your users longer to load the page. And then we're going to end that if statement and then uh, increment that i variable by one so that it goes to the next gallery. Then we'll end the for each statement, end the holder, and then finally end the whole if statement for the page. 
So I'm going to save this page, zoom back out, we'll refresh here just to show you nothing's actually happened here. Nothing's happened. So we're going to edit this page. And all I'm going to do is inside these little brackets, I'm going to say template equals one. So now when I do that, uh, it's going to grab the gallery-1.php. You could call this template that template equals table and uh, make a gallery-table.php. It doesn't matter what you call it as long as it's, uh, it matches up. So when I update this and I go view the page, what we should see now is an individual image for each gallery. So click on the home page, go to gallery test, and now you see there's one image per gallery. Just to confirm, I'm going to click on this first gallery, and you can see down here at the bottom, one out of two. So it's actually showing both images in this gallery. And just to confirm, gallery two, it is showing both images in that gallery. And that's how it's done.